Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenna and we are doing something involving water. I just wanna put that out there right now. We are doing some Natalia Taylor photo hacks and ideas today. If you're new here, please subscribe, check out my TikTok and my Instagram, and welcome. Hi. Natalia Taylor posted a video on her channel recently. I think it was like a day or two ago. Okay, the Natalia Taylor video that we are trying out to see if only a model will look incredible or if like a regular person, me, can also pull off these photo ideas. The video is how to take pics at home the right way. She posted it a day ago of her doing six different photo ideas for at home photo shoots. To be completely frank, um, my Instagram content right now is like a little lacking. Haven't really posted in a very long time. I have no summer content on there. Actually, the last photo I have is me wearing one of my like winter coats, but you should still follow. Yeah. We are getting caffeinated and we are going to dive right into the first idea, which is going outside and using a hose. Okay, so just rewatch the video and the first one, like I said, is in the backyard using a hose. Now, I do have a hose, but I also have something that she doesn't have. I have a kiddie pool. Now, she has like a real pool, so you know. I mean, I guess that could possibly be like better, but it doesn't matter. So we're gonna use the colorful kiddie pool, I think, as like an additional accessory, perhaps. Okay, we're outside right now. It's a little windy, so I'm sorry if the audio is kind of like bad. Um, I learned my lesson the hard way. You need to take your hair down. The bun does not look good in photos. Peep my last photo attempt video to see that. But we are outside and I think I'm gonna take photos with these because the pool is not filled up and I think that this would be like a cute little like color addition to it. I have this hose, shorts come off, my tripod on a chair right now, which is totally not a great idea. I also might Photoshop the shed out of it to be completely honest. I just got a bug bite, oh my God. Also, I tried this new like bikini wrapping trick. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this. It seems like it just, it, it's constant adjustments needed, but it's fine. <laughs> Man, I don't know if I, I should be ho holding this. Yeah. I feel like I need like an actual like sprinkler for it to look really cool, but she just uses a hose. So I will show you how the pictures turn out. Alrighty, so we are going to have a quick little discussion about the photos. First off, hack number one, the hose in the backyard. I am so surprised at how well this photo turned out. Minus the fact that, you know, like my shed's in the way and like it's very obvious like that I'm posing for a photo. It's not like natural and it's, it's trying a little hard. I will say it looks that way, but it doesn't matter because it looks so good. This is the photo. It is a little blurry, but honestly, I'm okay with that. It looks so good. I am very impressed. I would have never done this normally. And so without a doubt, like you need to try this one. Photo hack number one, check, complete, done. And now because I am damp, we are moving on to photo hack number two from Natalia's video. It is going into your shower wearing regular clothing and turning the lights off and using flash photography. Apparently it's supposed to look really cool. I don't know what is drawing me to wear this shirt, but for some reason I looked in my closet, I saw this and I was like, that's the one. Also, one of my like biggest fears is taking a shower and having the power go off and being stuck in the dark. <laughs> I'm not afraid of the dark, okay? But the idea of taking a shower without the lights on, I don't like that, but I will do it for this video. Welcome to my shower. It's gonna be so echoey in here, I apologize. And her photo, she had it in the picture with her. I don't know how I feel about that, we'll try it. Before we know it, this will just become like an Old Spice commercial maybe. Probably should take that out. Eh. Shower on, lights off, flash photography. Let's get it. Photo hack two was the shower. Now, like I already said, I have very strong feelings about, there's a bug in here, about taking a shower with the lights off. I hated that. Also felt like I was gonna trip over my camera tripod. So like that was a little rough. 
Also, when you're in a pitch black room, I was in my bathroom, obviously, shower, and a flash goes off, my eyes, in some photos I was like, so you have to like be so aware of what your eyes are doing when the photo is being taken. Here are two photos that I got from this photo shoot idea. They turn out so good. All the editing, like the coloring of these photos are gonna be a little bit different. I'm trying to re-theme my Instagram and I'm not sure what path I wanna take. So I'm playing around with the editing of all of these, but yeah, all I edit is the colors and like the highlights and shadows. I don't touch my body. I don't touch my face at all. I am so impressed at how these photos turned out. Also, another thing I would have never done, I would never decide to like wear clothing, take a shower and bring my camera in there. But I will say like the flash and the lights being off was such a game changer. Like it looks so good. Everything is just glowing and yeah. Okay, hack number three now is to put on like a nice dress, put my hair up in a towel, sunglasses, earrings, necklace, the whole thing. Take photos like that. So I have to go find a dress to wear. The natural progression next obviously though is to put your hair in a towel. The whole concept of this is like you're in a hotel and it's fancy and glamorous. Um, I've seen these photos like all over social media lately. We're back, I put a dress on. Now I need to swap out my earrings for some dangles. I have to figure out where. She took hers at her kitchen. My kitchen doesn't have great lighting, so I'm not gonna do that. And then she had like cat eye glasses and I can't find mine of that. So here's just like a pair of cheap sunglasses that I very much cannot see out of. Let's grab a towel and go take these photos. Hack three or photo idea three was the towel in the hair. Now this one I actually did have more problems with. The towel that I had that I was using was really big and heavy so it just like, it didn't sit on my head that great and then I didn't have a place that got good lighting because I didn't want to like set up my lights. Lazy, I know. Here's the photo, let me just show you the photo. In any other situation, I would Photoshop myself out and put myself on a new background but I didn't really feel like doing that. Honestly, like the sunglasses, the earrings, the dress with the hair thing, with the, the hair thing meaning the towel, it looks so good. I am very, very pleased with the way that this photo turned out. It was just my bad based on the background. I could have definitely moved that sunscreen out of the picture, but I didn't, oh well. Definitely was not as easy though as it looks like it should be. The next photo idea is to blow bubbles and use flash again. I don't have bubbles here, but I did make a container with soap in and I have this um, paper towel or napkin holder, which I kind of makes bubbles. So we're gonna give this a try and see if it works. Otherwise, I have to keep brainstorming what to like blow bubbles through. She has sunglasses on in her photo, so I might put sunglasses on. Okay, so I also came up with a couple different items to possibly blow bubbles with, because this is really difficult to do. I'm just gonna be covered in soap after this. Photo idea four was the bubbles. I ended up taking tin foil and putting it in a like Tupperware full of uh, dish soap and a little bit of water. And I struggled so hard with this. I found the same sort of issue with the flash, like my eyes going wild when I was in the dark room having flash go off. But when I was wearing the sunglasses, I couldn't see if I was actually blowing bubbles or not. It was just an absolute struggle. I probably spent the most amount of time trying to get this one right. I went to a couple different locations in my house to like see if, oh, a slightly lit room, that way I can actually see if there are bubbles or not happening. I was able to blow bubbles, which was great, but I ended up photoshopping bubbles from one photo into another. This is the photo that I ended up putting together. The actual image of me in it was an image that I took in a dark room with the flash. However, every single bubble that is shown, I did Photoshop in from a different photo where I looked terrible. And yeah, this is a hard one to do if you're doing it alone because timing wise, like if you're blowing the bubbles and the photo goes off, then you're blowing the bubbles, but you want the bubbles to be falling. So it's just like a really difficult timing. But honestly, like you can hardly tell that these were Photoshopped in because it was the same exact background. The only thing changed was I just 
plopped it into this photo. So I am happy with the way it turned out. I think it looks great. It was a little bit more of a nightmare than the rest of them. For photo hack idea, photo idea inspiration, number five, you're gonna have to go to my last video that I did about photo hacks and watch it. So I will link it above and it is in the description below. I already did the mirror outside pictures, so you just have to watch my other video to see that. Okay, and now the last hack is like the Polaroid one, but I don't have Polaroids. I do have, I do have printed photos, so I'm putting those down. And so I put it down like on this fuzzy blanket and I'm gonna lay down there. Okay, yeah, so I guess this photo idea is just to be like laying down in the midst of your photos. I guess, yeah, this is it. I don't feel like I look very good laying down, but let me take some photos like this and I'll show you the final result. And the final photo idea number six is the Polaroids around the hair laying down. I don't like this one, straight to the point. I'm not the biggest fan of this one. This is what it turned out as. I found it to be extremely difficult to look good laying down. My hair either looked weird or my face was falling back because I was literally laying down. Not the biggest fan of it. It ended up being fine, like it's a cute photo, but I don't think that it's something I would choose to do again or recreate again. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. That is all six ish photo ideas from Natalia Taylor's latest photo video. Overall, like, highly recommend giving some of them a try. I am very pleased. If you want to see these, one for sure, if not more, are on my Instagram by the time this video is up, and I will continue to keep posting them because, you know, I have these photos now, I have to post them. So if you're not following my Instagram yet, it is Jenska, and I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.